Hello friends, how are you today? As part of our 12 weeks video series about AI agent and how you can create AI agent in short time and implement in your organization. This is the first video. In this video, I'm going to cover what exactly AI agent and how the AI agent architecture look like. And if you are an enterprise and you wanted to create AI agent, what are all the things that you must need to keep in mind so that you can create an effective AI agent for your organization. And also I'm going to cover a couple of use cases from different domains so that you can use those use cases for implementing the AI agent architecture for your organization. And at the end, we are going to see how to build a agent in short time, probably like within five minutes to 10 minutes. And that a agent can be productionized and used in your organization. All right. So let's get into the first section. What exactly the a agent? We have been hearing about a agent everywhere. When it comes to a agent, it is not only one particular automation tool or something. It needs LLMs, small language models, it needs memory, it needs additional tools to function as a agent. So if you look at this uh, basic diagram where you can see the a agent is, an, is not a simple uh, tool or technology, it needs additional tools and technologies, memories and other stuffs for the effective function of the workflow. So when it comes to the organizations, what exactly you must need uh, to implement AI agent and why you must need to go for AI agent implementation. Normally, when it comes to the automation, you will have the automating tools and technologies, bad jobs, everything available for you to do the automation. But when it comes to AI agent, it will take care of the complete workflow. For example, if you are working in an organization where your organization is helping your customer to do the financial needs, for example, banking services company, and your use case for implementing a agent architecture is uh, taking an example of um, the customer support system. So right now, if you have your organization without implementing a agent, you may have the simple chatbot application where that chatbot application will receive all the input details from the customer and give the customer uh, response about what the customer is asking, right? But when it comes to the a agent uh, implementation for this particular customer support uh, use case in banking services company, you must clearly define the workflow or task details for implementing the AI agent. That is the main thing every organization must think of. It's like uh, perfectly defining the requirements before implementing the project. But not only that, you must have the complete end-to-end -end workflow details for implementing the AI agent architecture for your organization. Coming back to this example of implementing the AI agent for banking services company, uh, you have this chatbot application and the chatbot application may receive the input details from your customer, like customer name, the SSN and other details for creating the savings account. And after getting all these details uh, for creating the savings accounts, the AI agent will collect all the required information from the related systems and also it will help um, the customer to get to know more about what are all the options available in the banking services company to create the savings account and after getting everything it will go and refer the right tools for creating this AI agent for the customer and this is a complete workflow when you implement this workflow for your customer by using AI agent uh, architecture you will automate this end-to-end -end workflow starting from getting the information from the customer and uh, collecting the information in the system, in your system, uh, to know more about the customer and go and create the savings account for the customer. So uh, finally, when the customer creates the savings account, it will complete the workflow by sending the account details and checkbook and everything to the customer physically to their address. And this will end the complete workflow and the automation can be achieved with the help of a agent. This is one use case that uh, you can implement a agent for your uh, enterprises. And second one is if you are working for an insurance company, you may have a lot of insurance agents working with your customers to help the customer to pick the right insurance policy, right? So this workflow can be completely automated with the help of a agent. In this case, 
the a agent will first understand what exactly the requirements from the user or consumer in this case and get to know about the consumer details and uh, based on the collected details it will tailor the information and produce right insurance policy for the customer to pick and use and once customer chooses the right insurance policy it will go and create the insurance documents and uh, account details with the help of other tools and uh, memory available in this system and uh, it will finally produce the insurance policy for the customer tailored with the customer's need and uh, finally it will produce the insurance document and send it send it to the customer as a physical copy to their address so these complete workflow can be achieved with the help of a agent architecture and when it comes to healthcare companies healthcare industries right if you, you are a healthcare company and how you will adopt a agent properly for your organization one simple use case here is if you are dealing with your patients and the patients scheduling the appointments and prescription details all those can be completely automated with the help of a agent architecture so in this case is i assume that one of the patients in your organization willing to know about his history of uh, diagnosis and the history of prescription and he wanted to schedule the appointment accordingly with the doctors and also he wanted to get the prescription to the home based on the uh, details what he talks to the uh, doctor right so this complete workflow can be automated with the help of a agent here in this case the patient information will be received with the help of intelligent chatbot application once the patient information are received the information will be passed to the supporting systems and also the large language model in this a architecture a agent architecture and um, that model will produce the history of the records whatever the patients have been um, exploring and also what are the information that we collected from the patients etc and once after getting that it will automatically go and schedule uh, the time produce the time details to um, schedule call with the doctor and the patient will go and pick the right time availability and uh, meet with the doctor and also once uh, after meeting with the doctor if there is any prescription needed to be sent to the patient's home that will be scheduled and automatically it will get the prescription and sent to the uh, patient's home so this is uh, one another use case that uh, you can implement a agent architecture in um, healthcare industry so this these are all the three examples that i wanted to highlight here and uh, for implementing this particular a agent architecture you can adopt right patterns so basically there are differences between a agent architecture and a agent patterns so a agent patterns are react patterns react patterns and multiple patterns are available but the a agent architecture is a bigger template wherein you can bring in these patterns and uh, apply this pattern for the specific use cases and um, implement the architecture for your organization so this is the main thing i wanted to cover let's get into the hands on experience of how to create a agent in minutes let's get into the demo all right let's get into a agent creation within minutes so for that i need some cloud account for that i just created a free cloud account using ibm cloud and once after creating this free cloud account you will uh, log in and land on to this page where you can see all the options to build the prompts with foundation model or if you want to build a agent uh, to automate the task by using agent lab and also you can fine tune the foundation model with label data you can do whatever you want uh, with models and a agent for this demo i am going to pick this option build a agent to automate task once after clicking this you will land on this space this is the space where you can configure all the parameters required for building a agent and running it in minutes so once after landing into this page you can see that um, model was already picked and if you want to change the model click on this link and pick the model of your choice and you can see the model benchmarks uh, how the model performs what type of model it is whether it is a large language model or multi language model or code based model you can pick the right model for your business use case i am going to leave this um, large language model as llama 3.3 sounds like 70 billion parameter instruct model 
And for any A agent to run fine, it needs a framework. Here in this case, I'm leaving with LangGraph as a default um, framework. And also for any A agent to function it better, it needs an architecture, whether RAG or React. In this free tier, we are having React architecture. I'm going to leave as is. And also for any A agent to run fine, it needs some instruction. You need to instruct the A agent what exactly it has to do. I'm leaving this instruction by default and also if you want to configure additional instructions, you can just come here, select and remove and update whatever the configuration say you want to uh, give to this AA agent to perform. And also the common instructions are available for the AA agent to perform well. I'm not going to make any change over here. I'm just leaving it to default. And next section is knowledge. For any AA agent to work better and help your organization to build a, a particular automation task, it needs some knowledge data sources. For that, uh, you can pick um, any of the built-in knowledge data sources uh, or vector index. There are many you can configure with in the memory that has our PPD or docx file or PDF file, you can um, upload it here. Or if you want to connect your A agent to WhatsApp data, Milvex database, you can uh, do that as well. Just clicking on this WhatsApp data Milvex, you can get into the connection details and create connections. And Elasticsearch configuration also be available. You can go and do it. For this particular simple demo, I'm not going to do any of this configuration. Uh, coming back to the next uh, section, for building and running any agent, a agent, you need tools. So by default, a Google search has been configured. And if you want to add a tool, you can add according to your um, uh, use case. I'm just picking Wikipedia search and also weather. Uh, closing it out so you can see like what are all the tools picked for this particular agent to function well. And if you want to create a custom tool, you can do that as well. Uh, but you need to deploy the Python engine and create the name of the particular custom tool and uh, create the Python functions and copy here so that you can create your own custom tool to use with this agent. So we have done basic configuration. So I'm just to want to, I just wanted to test this out here before moving into the deployment. Uh, I want to ask the question to this A agent. What's the weather at Columbus, Ohio? Since we configured with the weather tool, it pulls the current weather at Ohio and it is giving the response to me here. Now it is time to deploy this agent. So I'm just going to click deploy here. And uh, for deploying any agent, we need deployment space. I already created a deployment space. Um, my market has gone in deployment space. So I just to deploy this particular A agent in this deployment space. It will take uh, some time to deploy. All right, so this deployment has started. We can see the status. It is initializing it. You can view the status, whether your A agent has been deployed properly or if there are any errors happening, all those things you can see. And if you created multiple agents, and here are the options to delete it or edit it, whatever you want to do, you can do that. So this particular A agent, whatever we created, is being deployed, and we need to wait for a couple of minutes to get this deployment complete. And after this deployment is complete, we can use this A agent anywhere in your application. Suppose if you want to configure this particular A agent with your uh, uh, custom applications which are running in on-premises, or if you are uh, planning to implement a new um, project along with this AA agent, you can do that as well. And if your application is running in any other cloud of your choice, AWS Cloud or Azure Cloud, you can just configure this particular A agent with your applications and use it. We are going to see like how to configure that as well. Uh, once this deployment is complete, I can uh, show you that. All right. It uh, got deployed, so let's click on this agent and see how we can use this agent. So once after clicking on this agent, you can see the private endpoint. So this can be configured with IAM parameters, and also it is uh, providing you the public endpoint. 
just copy this URL and configure with your application, which are running in your, in your environment, and um, use it effectively. And you can test this AA agent as well here. So now we deployed the AA agent. You can do a preview of this AA agent. It'll look like this. And also API references are available. We saw that. And come to the preview and you can test it out. So the steps are explained clearly. And it looked at the weather app, it talked to the weather app, and it fetched the weather at London, and it is giving the information to us. So that's it about um, the AA agent building. So this is very simple. And if you are planning to use any of the cloud of your choice, IBM Cloud, AWS, Azure, the parameter setting and creating the configuration for configuring with large language model, and configuring the parameters and tools, it's all going to be same. So this is how a agent building will happen in any of your uh, cloud of your choice, or if you want to build the a agent in your on-premises also, it can be done this way. So this is how the simple a agent building will be working. And if you want to know more about how to configure complex parameters for this particular uh, AA agent creation, we can do that in the next video. So as part of this 12-week series of creating AA agent um, videos, I have just provided an overview of how AA agent works and how the bigger AA agent architecture will look like and how you can fit in the patterns, AA agent patterns within this AA agent architecture and also how you can create these type of agents in minutes. And moreover, as an architect, you must know like what exactly the use cases that you can pick for implementing this AA agent architecture. That's all we covered in this video. And in the next video, we are going to understand what exactly the difference between automation and AA agent workflow automation. There are clear differences among um, these two categories. One is um, automation framework, and second one is AA agent workflow framework. We'll clearly understand what are those differences and uh, with the hands-on experience i can showcase a couple of demos in that next video and if you like this video give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefited of take care bye